The vaquita is the smallest cetacean in the world. It exists only in the northern part of the Gulf of California in Mexico. It is also the most endangered marine mammal on the planet, with a population of fewer than 20 individuals. La pesca ilegal ha sido completamente catastrófica en el Alto Golfo de California para la población de vaquita marina. The remaining vaquita are thought to be concentrated in a very small area of the Gulf. El último estudio acústico que se realizó con vaquitas ha mostrado que la actividad vocal se reduce a un área muy pequeña y si protegemos esa área probablemente podemos salvar la vaquita. El gobierno mexicano ha decidido crear un área de 225 kilómetros cuadrados en la cual es completamente prohibido cualquier actividad pesquera. The zero tolerance area is monitored by the Mexican Navy. It is also there that Sea Shepherd, in collaboration with the Mexican government, is focusing its efforts. This year we are enforcing this area, this polygon, which is the zero tolerance area, to make sure that um, there's no illegal fishing being carried out. This year, more than ever, we've been finding illegal fishermen inside of the zero tolerance area. This here is a picture of last week, and each and every one of these dots represent illegal fishermen. We counted upwards of 60 just in this area alone in one day. That is 20 to 30 kilometers of net in this very small concentrated area. Las redes agalleras funcionan como muros en la columna de agua en la cual quedan atrapados todos los animales que quieren pasar a través de ella. Es el caso de la vaquita marina que queda enredada y no puede salir a superficie a respirar. Engagement with fishermen in the zero tolerance area has three stages. So when we first come across any of the fishermen in the zero tolerance area, we play them a message which explains that they are in the zero tolerance area. We also give them a map with the coordinates in order for them to know exactly what that area entails. When we come across them the second time, we will pull one of their floats and give them a second warning. And then on the third time we come across them, we will basically pull their net if we get the chance to do so. In collaboration with the Mexican government, we basically document all of the illegal gillnet fishermen that we come across. That way we know who we've already spoken to and we can also keep track of repeat offenders for the area. Increased enforcement of the zero tolerance area, however, has resulted in increasing conflict with fishermen. This year has been particularly aggressive, early, an early start to the aggression this year. Uh, we've had leads, hammers, baseball bats, Molotov cocktails, everything thrown at us this year. It's the most aggressive that I've seen on these campaigns. Recent scientific findings, however, support the urgent need to maintain the zero tolerance area. Un estudio hecho en septiembre de este año encontró actividad acústica en el área de cero tolerancia. Aún hay posibilidades de salvar la vaquita, pero el área de cero tolerancia debe permanecer completamente libre de redes. If we're going to protect the vaquita, we need to make sure that the zero tolerance area is really a zero tolerance area for illegal fishing gear.